What's up guys? Have you ever wondered how Shimmer actually works? Let's talk about that. The sixth time I've tried to record this and uh, my iPad is just not cooperating uh, and keeps uh, failing to screen capture. So we're gonna go old school and I'm just gonna draw this on a piece of paper because I'm tired of explaining this and I actually wanna finish this video. Let's talk about Shimmer Reverb, okay? Shimmer Reverb is a DSP effect, it's a digital effect. So you're using a digital chip um, to house the code. You're writing code, putting it on a digital chip to achieve this specific sound. Now, there's so many more complexities, so much more going on with how this works than what we're gonna talk about, but I'm gonna give you the base, the basic building blocks conceptually. So if you're into coding or you wanna get into DSP, this isn't gonna give you the code for a Shimmer Reaver, but it's gonna give you the conceptual idea and give you the ability to go out and kind of make your own if you want to, all right? And this is this is basically what I did with the astronomer. So um, with any effect, you have your input signal and you have your output signal, right? And then you have your signal going between them, right? Input, output, we have our signal going between, right? And what you're doing uh, for a reverb, because we got to start there, let's just start with the bass reverb. You're adding a reverb block right in the middle. All right, so now we got our input, our output, our reverb block, right? Now, conceptually, the way this is working is that reverb block is just giving us our initial reverb, our initial, you know, sound. It's not giving us a depth. We don't have a feedback control right now, right? We just have like, if you ever turn a feedback control on a reverb all the way down, just that short, tight little reverb sound, that's that's what we have so far. So to add that whole feedback, get that deep sound, we need to add what's called a feedback loop, okay? So feedback loop, feedback loop. Now what that means is after it exits the reverb, some of that reverb is going to the output jack and some of that is going into that feedback loop and being fed back into itself, right? And so uh, that short reverb sound now becomes a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit, longer, a little bit so on and so on and so on. That's how you get this, these trailing, long, big, atmospheric reverb sounds is this feedback loop concept, right? Now, so we have our reverb, we have our feedback loop mechanism. So we have this, you know, long sounding reverb. So let's add the shimmer part, right? This is the secret. This is the key ingredient of how shimmer works. So inside that feedback loop, what you're going to do is you're going to add, boom, an octave up. Just a simple one octave, 12 semitones up from the original signal, okay? So what that means is that, like we talked about with the feedback loop, some of your, your dry, just reverb signal is always being kicked out to the output jack. But as it goes through that feedback loop, it's hitting that octave up, okay? So now we have our, our, our bass reverb sound, we have this octave up sound, all right? It's going back through the reverb, and then it's, some of it is going out to the output jack, some of it goes back into that feedback loop, and that gets kicked up to two octaves up. Goes back through three, four, five, six, so on and so on and so on. But the thing is, is you're not getting just that one sound, right? Because you're constantly having signal fed in, you're always you're always having an octave, one octave up sound happening. There's always one octave. There's always two octaves. There's always three. All of those octave sounds stack 
because you, you're constantly having signal coming in and it's constantly feeding into itself. And that's the whole sound with Shimmer, right? You have this huge stack of voices, right? Angelic, you know, wispy voices happening in the reverb. And that's how you get that. All of those octaves almost infinitely happening all, because it's happening so fast, they're pretty much all happening at the same time to us, you know, to what we can perceive. That's what gives you this really angelic, atmospheric, shimmer sound is this octave up that's constantly being kicked up, kicked up, kicked up, kicked up. And that has to be in the feedback loop. So if you put an octave up like before a reverb, all you're gonna get is that one octave feeding back. You're just gonna get reverb after an octave, right? The octave up has to be in that feedback loop so that it constantly keeps, it keeps kicking itself up, 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 more and more and more um, instead of just one octave sound. Uh, like I said, that's, that's the base mechanics. There's so much more uh, things you can do. Um, you know, it's like me, like I like to put stuff, I like to put filtering in the feedback loop. Uh, shimmer can tend to sound really stale and harsh. So adding different filtering in the feedback loop helps a lot. You can do different mix techniques. Uh, you can add other effects like envelope, like there's so much stuff you can do, but that is the base form of what it takes to create Shimmer. All right, guys? So if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, add a comment of what you want me to talk about next. I wanna go over these concepts. Uh, I wanna talk about circuits. We're gonna talk about some more circuits, maybe a fuzz face or tube screamer next, big muff, who knows? What do you guys wanna see? We'll talk about it next if you leave a comment. Um, sh share it with your friends. Uh, I think this is super fun and I'd love to keep doing these videos. Um, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time in the next video and take it easy.